And we are going into game number five, ladies and gentlemen. Score is two to two. And the final players will be Hydra from CJ Entis, the MSL champion, against Brave, the random Protoss guy. I don't think he has any notable achievements. <laughs> and that's that's just not good. That is not good for Samsung. <clears throat> So, there we go. Overlay fixed. Excellent. <clears throat> and there is... Is that the CJ coach or something? Uh, that's like the third time they showed that guy. I don't know who he is. I think it's CJ coach. It must be. Anyways. There is Mr. Brave. I'm actually looking at... Oh, okay, it looks like... Uh, his stats are not too bad. 22 and 17. I assume that's last season's stats. That's not so bad. That's uh, that's above 50%. That's pretty good. So I guess he's not so bad. Um, but I mean, Hydra is an MSL winner. He's like been tearing it up this season as well. He's pretty good. January is laughing. I don't know why she's laughing. This is like not a good position to be in. Sending out Brave against Hydra in game five. By the way, by the way, guys. By the way. It's not an ace match. I see people saying it's an ace match. Now, you know, I'm not I'm not one of those crazy guys who's like, Oh my god, he used Bonjoy incorrectly. Burn him at the stake. You know, I'm not one of those people. But I, I will like to I would like to clear, clarify the terminology. Ace matches are when you actually uh, bring one of the players who's already played in the series and you bring them out again to play. That's an ace match. This is not an ace match. You can't you can't play the same player twice in the new format. Um, you have to play someone new. So it's not an ace match. It's just game five. It's set five. It's not as cool as an ace match, but you know whatever. It's fine. Okay, good. So now all of the uh, uh, what do you call them? Pedantic people. Is there a noun form of pedantry? That's the right word, right? Being pedantic is where you like to obsess with words. It's kind of ironic that I'm like messing up on the vocabulary for someone who is obsessed with vocabulary. Hmm. We need to go deeper. So, Hydra versus Brave. Can Samsung Khan take down the mighty CJ Entis? Of course they can. There's Samsung, man. Greatest team in the season. Why do I have this little arrow thing on the bottom? What is that? Oh! Oh! Oh, it's not even going to go away. Ah! Well, I guess we're going to have an arrow on the screen. I'm sorry. I, I can't do anything about it. Uh, so... Yes, 2-2, two to two, set number 5. Awesome. <clears throat> Uh, Radmiral. Wait, are you serious? Dude, I'm sick, man. I'm sick! Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh man, this guy, this guy is so mean. It's like, oh, I can, I can take the criticisms about like, how I don't know the players, how I'm terrible at this game. How like, my Korean impressions are terrible, which they are. But dude, dude, that guy, he was just like, Say, why are you coughing, man? So annoying. You sick? <laughs> Freaking noob. Freaking D minus level anti sickness person. I don't even know. D minus level immune system. Ah, it's terrible. I hate being bad at immune systems. So, what, what map is this? It's out, Outlier. Oh, guys, it's Outlier. In that case, in that case, Brave might have a chance. Because apparently, this map is like horrendously imbalanced for Protoss. We've seen what, like three or four PVPs on this map. I don't really understand why, to be honest. Because when I when I looked at it, I assumed it would be a Terran map, but I think that happens when I look at any map. So I guess that's invalid. But apparently, it's a Protoss map. So uh, I guess maybe the map imbalance will help even up the matchup a little bit. Maybe we can see some uh, some nice match here. Anyway, uh, we do have a pylon at the front, presumably a Forge Fast Expand. He's not scouting with the probe though. That makes me think he's going to build two gateways. Oh, calling it like a boss. He didn't build a second one, though. Okay, but he did build one gateway, and Hydra's Overlord is going in the wrong direction. Now, is Hydra going to send out a pro 
the drone scout. No, he's going to go uh, for an overpool, so he's not going to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. Is he going to go two gates, or is he going to do a one gate Jangby style expansion? Hmm. Excuse me. Looks like a uh, probe going to be annoying. Now, it's actually very, very crucial if he can uh, block that uh, natural hatchery for as long as possible. Uh, because that's going to delay any any sunken that's placed there, which is going to allow his elves to do a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. That is assuming if he's going two gates. If he's just going one gate, it doesn't matter too too much. It's still nice to block the hatchery, but uh, if you're going two gates, you really really want to block that so they can't get the sunken down in time. Anyways, looks like uh, he's actually just going for a one gate expansion. So that's uh, an interesting choice. Um, basically, he's just going to put on a little bit of zealot pressure, and most likely just get a forge uh, to finish off the wall, and then expand behind it. Uh, and it looks like against the overpool, he realizes he has to play defensive. He can't put on any pressure. <clears throat> but you see, this is a—it's a flexible build, because if your opponent goes for 12 hatch, you can put on some zealot pressure, and then so like you know, kind of punish them a little bit for the 12 hatch, and then expand yourself. Uh, whereas if they go for a pool first build, you just do this and you just play defensively and you still get your expansion up. But, I mean, if you keep pumping zealots, you can kind of have the threat of a zealot attack, so, you know, the Zerg has to play a little bit more safe. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's the wall. Now, presumably that's tied on the above the forge and below the gateway. If it's not, he could just insta-lose, which would be terrible. But <laughs> I'm hoping he actually, you know, figured out the wall. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, looks like uh, Hydra's taken the bottom left natural as his third. And, uh, uh, you know, I think actually on this map, uh, taking another natural is actually possibly safer than other maps, because like, the natural to natural distance on this map actually seems quite short compared to some other maps. So I'd imagine it's easier to defend that with Zerglings than on, I don't know, Sniper Ridge, for example. Anyway, one cannon in the back, and ooh, a probe is actually going to sneak out here. Uh, so one Ling is going to chase it, the other three Lings are going to be brought to intercept. There's a lair, looks like Hydro playing completely standard, and we have a Cybernetic score as well. Natural expansion almost done, so uh, standard stuff from, uh, what's his face, Brave. He's also only made one cannon, which I think is smart. Um, he's got he's got the zealots out. Looks like Hydra's only made four zorglings, so there's really no need for a second cannon. I'm just going to kind of optimize the build a little bit. And we have a Stargate. Uh, the Overlord is going to see that though. And looks like there's no plus one, so it's no Sayer zealot silliness. I say silliness. It's a good build, but you know. <clears throat> So it looks like actually, oh, this is very interesting. Did Hydra not leave anything spotting the front? Oh my goodness. Okay, he's built a spire now. Is he using all his larvae on drones? Oh man, did Hydra really not leave a Zergling at the front? That seems like a very, very, uh, I don't want to say noobish or amateurish because he's like an amazing player, but that's a very fundamental mistake there. You're supposed to leave one Zergling at the front of the Protoss's base at least just to spot if he does a Zealot push out like this. This is actually a pretty big mistake from Hydra not to have seen this coming. And uh, it looks like, oh, very nice move by Brave. He's going to leave two Zealots and a probe there blocking the ramp and the other Zealot is going to walk into the main and try and do some economic damage. One drone getting taken down already. Hydra's going to have to produce a lot of emergency links here. And it looks like he's going after the second drone. Is he going to get it? Uh, no, not quite. Not quite getting a second drone, and he will get taken down. Meanwhile, I don't know what the zealots on the ramp are doing. But, oh, looks like they've gone into the natural. A nice drone drill from Hydra, but he's losing, looks like, two more drones. The zealots still doing damage, and more zealots coming in for Brave. Brave doing a very nice job here, and the thing is, even if the zealots get cleaned up now, yeah, look at this, look at how many zerglings have been produced, so that zealot's not going to do anything anymore, but now Hydra's just made a lot of zerglings, he's lost a lot of mining time, he's lost uh, several drones, I mean, this has been extremely disruptive to Hydra, uh, and, and Brave just has to defend the counterattack, but that's actually a lot of lings. He really needs a second zealot right now. Oh my god, that second zealot needs to come out. Oh, it needs to get in that, it needs to get in the gap! Oh man, he needs to block it, he needs to pull more probes! Oh my goodness, Brave, he needs to pull more probes! This is really, really dangerous, he needs to block that gap with a second zealot, he needs to block it! Oh, he needs to block the cannon! Brave, Brave, block the gap with the zealot! Brave! Oh my god, is he just gonna lose to the Zergling counterattack? Oh, oh, Brave, this was like... 
Dude, he knew this was going to happen. Like, this this is what happens when you put Zealot Pressure on. And I'm spitting all over my monitor, but I'm so upset right now. Because this is exactly what happens when you put Zealot Pressure on the Zerg. He overmakes Zerglings, and then he counterattacks you. That's like, that's what you have to defend. You just defend it, you block your wall, and you are completely fine. You are in good position because he made too many Zerglings. Oh, that was completely unnecessary. I mean, it looks like he didn't lose too, too many pros. He's made a cannon in his main. He's going to be fine. He's cleaned up the Zerglings, but... Oh, that's just really frustrating. Oh, man. I mean, he... Uh, he saw them with the Zealot, and he's just like, you know... I'm just, just going to put one probe in the gap. It's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll just put one probe there. I only have one cannon. It doesn't matter. I don't really need anything else. <sighs> anyway, so I don't know, that, that might have kind of undone the damage that he did. Uh, meanwhile, I think we do have the standard 5 hatcheries up, and we do have two probes actually going to the left side, so it looks like uh, Brave wants to mine that out, and perhaps take the uh, the back expansion in the top left. Um, if you don't know what the map looks like, there are three pseudo-island expansions um, in between the main bases, blocked off by neutral temples and uh, mineral patches that you can mine out to gain access to those. It's very similar to or uh, a similar concept to uh, Outsider, and oh my god, he didn't leave the two Zealots! Brave, what are you doing? Oh my god, he had five Zealots, and instead of blocking with two and attacking with three, he only blocked with one and attacked with four, and that allowed the Zerglings to run in. Like, what is he thinking? He should absolutely have been blocking with two Zealots. I don't... Oh, Brave. Brave, you're killing me here, man. You're killing me. Oh god. Oh man, I'm getting a headache. Ah, oh, uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Brave is just making me so sad. I'm so sad. As a fellow Protoss, this breaks my heart. Decent wall in by Hydra, and there's only four speed lots, so they're not really gonna do anything. So, looks like another gateway from Brave. I don't know if he's actually mined out the back. Looks like a probe is heading over to the top left now. Uh, perhaps gonna go take that. But Hydra's already taken the uh, the left, the bottom left main as his fourth base. It'll be fun if uh, if Brave tries to like sneak some some units through the the left side temples into that base. And it looks like he, yeah, he's actually not expanding. He's actually sent that probe all the way down. Uh, so perhaps gonna trick it in with the with the pylon jump. Uh, anyway. Looks like Hydra Hydra actually building spores at his expansions. Wait a minute, has he just not made any units? Oh my goodness, he's actually not made any units besides the initial links and then some Scourge. He's using two Sunkins and a Spore Colony to defend like his entire base. Wow, that's actually pretty pretty ballsy. Okay, now he's starting Hydra production. Huh. Alright, I guess that's okay. Perhaps he was a little bit scared. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at look at this! Look at this! Brave has actually just sent a bunch of probes to mine out the back, and I don't know if Hydra sees this. Oh, Hydra! Hydra knows what's up. No mining out the back for you, lol. Silly Protoss. Silly Protoss. Tricks are for well, I guess tricks are for Protosses, because they do all kinds of sneaky things. Okay, I guess he's doing it right then. Oh my god, if those links get in the main. I swear to, I swear to god, if another set of speedlings runs through that wall, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna punch I'm just gonna punch my wall, man. I'm doing it, that's the ultimatum. Brave, don't you let any more links into your base. Don't you do that. I swear to god. Ah. <sighs> Alright, uh, so Summoning Score is spinning away. I don't know if that's just Goon Range where he actually is getting plus one. He is uh, producing a decent number of Corsairs. I think that's a good idea. Um, because of all the ring expansions on the map, there's not quite as many ring expansions as on Outsider, but there are a few. So Corsair play could be quite good. And oh no, is he going to get trapped by the Lings? Hydra doing a very nice move here. The Hydra's going in from the back. The Lings going around trying to surround the Zealots and prevent them from retreating. And oh my god, is he just going to break it? The Hydra's are moving in. The Archon can't actually leave. The Archon can't get out of the base, Brave! No, Brave! He's gonna get he's just gonna get Hydra rolled by Hydras. Oh my god. Oh Brave. Oh Brave. The Hydra's waltzing in here. Well, at least he didn't let any more links into his base. You know, to be fair, I didn't say anything about Hydras. So it's not his fault the Hydras are walking in. Oh, Brave. Hydra just morphing Lurkers at the front there, but the game is over. It looks like CJ Antis is going to take it 3-2. to two. 
Brave not showing the greatest game 5, but I mean that's what happens in this format. Because there's no ace match, so... <laughs> you just bring, bring out the rookies in game 5. Oh baby. GG from Brave. Hydra taking it down. Brave not too happy about that. CJ Antis wins the match 3-2 over Samsung Khan. And I think that was uh, Mustaju's prediction, actually. So good job, Mustaju. Here's Hydra. High fiving it up. Thank you guys for watching. This was the uh, SPL English rebroadcast, brought to you by the Sexy Sale. So I'm gonna play like a bunch of commercials now. Before